Hey there, it's BitBee, and welcome out to another BitBee stream. Thanks for coming out. It is Wednesday. Here. Sorry, we had a little bit of a rough start here, but I think we will be fine. Let me just lower the volume on this thing. There we go. Yeah, anyways, no, I, I just recently cleaned out my computer and unplugged everything in the back, which meant that I had to replug in everything else, and that completely screwed up everything that is currently set up that is USB related, because I didn't remember where everything was plugged in previously. Derpy, 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 derpy. Excuses, excuses. I suppose I should also make another excuse for the fact that I didn't stream on Sunday. Yeah, sorry. <sighs> no, I don't know. Uh, j just for context's sake, uh, the stream previous on Saturday was Ace Attorney Investigation, the final chapter bit, but it went on forever. Like, it kept on going for hours and hours and hours. And finally, like, five and a half hours into the stream of me just, like, shouting Ace Attorney lines, and finally it finished. But the thing is, it kind of screwed up my vocal cords a little bit. Nothing, like, too hardcore, but it was one of those things where I was... I was looking at... I woke up in the morning, and then sometime around noon, I was like, yeah, I still feel really hoarse and really shit. So I don't think I want to be streaming today, because I'm going to be projecting my voice again, and I feel like I'm just going to open up the wound. Makes more sense for me to just skip today. So, sorry that I couldn't do Sunday, but we're going to be diving into West of Loathing today, which... That was another game I was like, well, maybe I can do West of Loathing. Well, no, because there's a whole bunch of, like, you know, gruff, gruff type of voices. Like, a gr a gruff voices like the, uh, the ones from the cowboy era. So here, I just recently restarted a whole bunch of shit, so give me a second. It's gonna take me a moment. I had to, like, suddenly fix a whole bunch of problems at last minute here, so... Some things are not quite set up properly. Not yet. This is set up properly, right? Yes, yes it is. Thank God. Hello, Heathcliff McCoy. Um, maybe turn that down a bit. Actually, can you guys hear that? No, you can't hear that. I don't think so. Oh, no, no, you can hear it. Never mind. I'll lower it down to about... Here. Here, say sounds good. Anyways. Beans! 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 Sorry. Oh, and right before I begin, I'm actually going to do real quick run over to the fridge and grab some drinks because, good God, I haven't done that and I would like to get some drinks. So, hold on one second. There we go. Okay. So, testing audio. Sounds good. Anyway, no, I started earlier today, and... Oh, for what... I think it has something to do with just restarting my PC. It's had some weird issues with frame drops, and I don't know. Like a combination of both frame... Me restarting the PC, and also picking the right source to uh, stream out to you guys, just causes horrible frame drop issues. But it seems to be smooth now, so I'm not gonna complain. All right. So where was I last time? I don't even remember. Oh, right, this crazy bastard. Yeah, the, the noose, all the creepy shit. I see, I see. Uh, well, let me take a look at the map. See what I can and can't do. Oh, actually, um... There's a missions tab somewhere around here, right? I don't even remember. Your stuff. I have no clue. Let me see. Oh. Oh, we can have a list like that. Oh, God, a list like that. I need to clean up my inventory. Holy shit. And then you can see everything A to Z or everything that's new. I'll give them that. They, they do a very good job of your inventory. Uh, no, honestly, I completely forget what the uh, actual missions are here. Well, there's all that stuff good. Oh, yeah, I kind of beefed myself up. I remember that, too. Um... The thing is, I know that there are all of these locations available to explore. I see some stuff that's new, but I also know that there's a bunch of things that I could possibly be doing. I've forgotten most of all of them, mainly because I haven't played this game in, like, a, what, two weeks? 
Also doesn't help that I have been distracted as all hell by everything under the sun. I guess we could start by heading over to Old Granddad or Buffalo Pile. Ooh, or Reboot Hill. Oh, I remember Ghostwood. Fuck them. <laughs> you know what? Here, let's go ahead and head to Reboot Hill. Over at the side of the road, you spot a lone and gloomy grave marker with a lone and gloomy man in a black robe digging up the grave with a shovel. Hey, what are you doing? The hooded figure looks at you, looks at the shovel, looks at the grave, and looks back at you. Do I really need to explain? I mean, why are you doing it? Well, it's for necromancy practice, right? I mean, you gotta get the bodies from somewhere. That's despicable. Shrug. This is the necromancer's territory now. Your moral outrage isn't really my concern. Did you just say shrug? <laughs> hmm. Ah, oh, damn it, I don't have intimidate enough. Oh well, kill him. <laughs> of course he's got a thing about necromancy though. Gotta have to jump on him this time. Alright. Beef up, let's see if we can uh, make short work of this. Shoot him! Nope, he is a strong necromancer, shit. Oh, that's right. I probably should have just punched him. Crapola. Well, that's fine. Let's see. I think... Didn't I get this thing... Uh, I think I might have covered this thing in silver or not. Good night, sir. <laughs> you won. You kick him into the hole he's dug and fill it in. That'll show him. Very neat. I got a black hood. Goody, goody. Okay, so we got creepy trees. Horse. Re- Oh, it used to be Boot Hill, but now it's Reboot Hill. Don't worry, it's just paint. Right. <coughs> totally. <clears throat> um, we got an entryway over here. And a whole bunch of other valley that looks to be empty. Well, fine then. Let's see what's over here, then. <laughs> Plot one. <laughs> oh, that's great. Let's see, plenty of graves. Dear God. So I could dig up a few of these things. Wise old Jed Marmot. 1706 to 1770. This time the bar ate him. The ground here seems reasonably soft. Well, my morals are corrupt as all hell. Marmot skin cap. Weird. Peggy Immortal. <laughs> Kinda ironic. A uh, big Bob Hurlingham. Gone to the big pie eaten contest in the sky. I gotta try pie. What? Uh, I don't want it. It's probably been down there for a while. Biff Bunkerston. He was a real butt face. Well, oh, jeez. Snidely Crandlesworth. What the hell's happening on the other side of this thing? I see something to the right and it's terrifying. It was sort of like a Benjamin Button kind of thing. <laughs> oh, Snidely Crandlesworth. I see. Oh, good. Clean Willie Hinks. Really is gonna hate this burial thing. Clean Willie. Very good. Very good to keep it uh, wholesome. Keep it healthy. Annette... Sent a bomb. 1689-1762. Tried to eat her way out of a bear. <laughs> I'd actually get inside the bear in the first place. Buck Jeansley, 1811-1852. Nobody ever saw a man die that way before. <laughs> Looks like there's a whole gang buried under here. An entire gang? We got the jump on them this time. Alright, I am going to beef up, and I'm going to attempt to stomp these bastards down. Hopefully. Nope! God, that is such a useless move. Alright. Uh, kill the one with the gun. Nah, not quite. Yes, screwed it. Oh, dear. Great. Sweet! Ah, <sighs> plus three to all. Okay, so we got two of these assholes that are bringing up stats, but I think it might be a good idea to try and take these guys out as soon as possible. So. Oh, shit. Ah! Okay. I don't want a whole bunch of these guys killing us at once, so... It's a waste of a bullet. 
It's fine. I got some health. Well, hopefully if those two assholes back there do nothing but just up skills, let's try and punch one. Oh, god damn it. All right, fine. I, I'm sure this probably ups, like, defense and shit as well. Oh, I meant to shoot the guy behind him. Damn it! Eventually, their skills are not going to be able to rise any higher. Fuckers. Okay. I'm going to need to heal myself. I, I, I think... I don't want to use every single one of my health packs, but... In this case, I think I might have to. Alright. Punch him. God, just fall down, you asshole. Shoot him. I can't. Skeleton up front. How much higher are their stats gonna get? Holy shit. I mean, at this stage, I'm in, I'm in a lot of trouble. Uh, okay. Don't know if I'm going to be able to kill that guy in time. Can kill him. Now, uh, what do I do here? I, I, I can hold down one of these guys. I'm going to try and do that. Oh, wow. That was close. All right, so what can I do to pull through this? I have a fuckload of dynamite. <laughs> that would definitely solve some things. Uh, that. Uh, yeah, you know what? Come here. Uh, I, I can just wear these fuckers down. <laughs> Whatever. That's what money's for. I could buy this shit. Hmm. Well, at this stage, I could probably just take down the two up front, and then this guy won't have a leg to stand on, considering all he seems to be able to do. I mean, he spells... I don't know if he's got a secondary attack, and he's just using magic to his full advantage. I hope not. Only one way. Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck. I uh, don't really know if this is gonna do much, but. I can hope. Ah! Oh, fuck you! God, these guys are assholes. All right. So... I guess the dudes in back are not playing around. Probably be best to take them out first. Okay. Again, no fuck around this time. The guy with the gun can wait. Okay, um, I don't think with my current set of skills I can shoot this guy, but... Probably should have shot... Ah, probably should have shot the person in the middle. Oh. Hello, Elizieli. <sighs> Alright, again, guys in back. Thank you for playing one of your favorite games. Hey, I'm happy I'm playing it. <laughs> it's fun. It's silly. Uh, not a lot of choice. It's fine. These, these, these guys can only hurt me via 1 HP. Yep. Little strikes. That's changed now, but... All right. Fuck. That was probably a waste. I, I don't know. 
This battle's a little rough. I, I feel like I probably should have buffed me in some capacity first before I started. Uh... Gotta be some kind of a strategy to that that I should probably be working on. Uh, eventually, I'm just gonna knock myself out, and I'm gonna end up back at the uh, back at the ranch. I don't know. I'm just trying to think what I, what else I could possibly be doing here. That ups pistol damage, but I, my build, my build's kind of shit when it comes to pistol. I'm good when it comes to melee, but that's it. I'm kind of wondering if this might be a little too advanced right now. I hope not. What's this guy doing? <laughs> you see a ghost of an elderly woman holding flowers. She seems lost and depressed, above and beyond what's expected for a ghost. <laughs> Uh, taking out the gunmen and the boosters would probably be good, and if I have any stat boosters, that would help. Yeah. I may have to. Anyways. Adam, ma'am, is there something I can help you with? Oh, it's so awful! I can't remember! I can't remember at all! Let's start at the beginning, okay? Well, you see, I had four daughters. They married four brothers, the Smith boys. And after, they each had five daughters of their own. Unfortunately, I outlived every one of the 24 of them. Ah, that's a lot of grandkids. You, uh, you know you're a ghost, right? Oh, yes. In fact, I died here in this graveyard where they're all buried. I came to visit them, and I suppose my poor old heart finally gave out. That's not the problem, though. 95 years is a pretty good run after all. So what did you forget? I bought this bouquet of flowers to put on my favorite granddaughter's grave, but I can't remember which one of them was my favorite. I'm so ashamed, and I can't bear to live leave until I've remembered. I see. Well, maybe I can help you out. figure it out. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it so much. Okay. How do we figure this one out? Can you remember anything about your granddaughter? All right. I, I guess I'll have to look at the graves again. Well, I'm quite certain her first name ended in a vowel. Okay, vowel. I remember I was 40 when she was born. Oh, no, no 37. Or oh, was it 42? It must have been somewhere in that range at least. Oh, great. Now I have to do math. Shit. Anything else? No, her first name was longer than her last. Just like mine. I remember she was buried next to... Uh, she wasn't buried next to any of my daughters. She passed the same age as poor, poor Becky, who was always in such ill health. Um, her favorite hobby was knitting. She starts to sob. She knit me a lovely sweater for Crimbo just the year before she died. And that's all I can remember. Knitting. Okay, then hang on. Let me think a moment. Um. Hmm. That's interesting. So, oh God. So many. Ah, that's a lot of stuff to remember. Holy crap. Uh, the last person you watched tried Pamela and thought she was close, but could have been way off. Not very helpful here. Hey, yes, that's fine. I'm I'm here. I'm terrible when it comes to like piecing this kind of clothes together myself. Hmm. Ooh, a loose grave. I'll dig that up. You uncover a coffin that was apparently delivered by mail. <laughs> Because it still has the address printed on it. Either that or this was a joke about somebody going to Hellstrom Ranch after they die. Hmm. Strange. Okay. So, what did it say? Was it like the last name is... Not as long? Okay. Let me take a look at these clothes again. Last name ended in a vowel. Uh, the whole age thing is going to be painful as all hell. First name was longer than her last. That, that's a whole lot of them, so. Not married next to any of the other daughters. Same age as poor, poor Becky, who was always in such ill health. First name is longer than the last. Alright, cool. 
knit a lovely sweater. And that's all she can remember. Interesting. I'll be back, man. <laughs> yeah, the, the age one's a little bit complicated. Okay, so vowel. Uh, is Y technically a vowel? <laughs> does, does that technically work? Let's see. Can't even start. Uh, Smith. Smith. Yeah, oh, I mean, it's all Smith, so. Could technically... All right, all right. So, Melissa... Lynn. She wasn't buried next to any of the other daughters, so wouldn't be these two. And uh, not that one. Okay, th th these are all like daughters, so I, I feel like this would not work. I don't know if it would help, but at least I could refer back. Hey, no problem. I like that. Thank you. Paula? Leonor, Patricia. So all of these are the... Okay. Pearl, Amela. Th th these are all the daughters. I think. Plot number one. Hmm. There's Rebecca. There's Billy. Wise old Jed. Uh, Peggy. Big Bob, Biff, um, Annette, Clean Willie Hinks, and then that's Buck. I hope that she's not like at the other end of these skeletons. That would suck. I doubt it. Okay, um, specifically, you also said something about. Okay, a vowel. Somewhere between the ages of 37 and 42. Uh, not d d uh, buried next to any of her daughters. Past the same age as poor, poor Becky, who was always such... Oh, my God. I hate... I, I hate the fact that you have to, like, take the years and then uh, count them down. This feels like I would have to sit down here and actually spreadsheet it out and be like, okay, so you were 52, you were 63, you were... Six. The husbands are on the right, the daughters and granddaughters are on the left. Well, she specifically said in here she wasn't buried next to any of the daughters, so it... In that regard, could we completely phase out the entirety of the left? There's a chest, though. There. One try a day. Ah. <laughs> what happens when I say, I think I know who she was? Grant's face lights up as you nervously glance at the tombstones behind her. Ah, uh, did her name start with a... And then I get four options here. Just wing it. If you die, go to sleep at the motel. No problem. Um... M? Granny's eyebrows raise hopefully. Oh, dear God. Okay. Ma? Granny's eyes widen. Margaret? Magdalene? Madeline? Hmm. Interesting. Well, which one do I like more? <laughs> That's the question. I, I have no basis on any of it. Magdalene. Grant's face falls. Ah, uh, no, no, it wasn't her. Oh, I'll never remember. I'm sorry. Thank you for trying, but please leave me alone for gr uh, to grief. Shite. Fine. Ooh, okay, so this is one plot. Oh, ends in a vowel. God, God damn it, you're right. Oops. So, uh, well, it's it was Magdalene and it's ended with. Wait, wait, was that an Henry? Shit. Oh well. 
plot number two. So, more dead things. What's going on? What the heck? It's the remains of a picnic. Jellied escargot. Cat's eye candy. Gothic cameo. Alright. Why'd you bring that on a picnic? Inventor of the external combustion engine. Ooh. The lag made that less helpful. I hate Twitch lag. I was looking it up recently, trying to find out, okay, is there any way that you can phase that out? Because the only people that I know that are capable of even doing that are Mixer. And even then, you have to encode the stream in a very specific way that I used to do until I upgraded the system, and now I can't. But it was nice. Like, Mixer had a uh, one and a half second lag if you set it up right. Well, that's kind of a shame. Anyway, uh, Annette's Jangle, first lady bicyclist to ride off a cliff. The ground here seems, uh, riding boots! <laughs> sure. Died as he lived, screaming. <laughs> Took us kind of a long time to get around to this old dead Tom. <laughs> An old dead person. Uh, couldn't remember the rhyme about which snakes are poisonous. The ground here is, oh god. Patent, I mean, uh, yeah. I would like it if... I know that Twitch has got a whole lot of people on it. Um, same thing with... I don't know. Mixer doesn't have quite as many people. But it would be nice to have less lag. Dink Scotch Turkinson. Drowned in a whiskey barrel. It's what he would have wanted. And I got some decent whiskey out of it. Nice. They got him coming and going. We're reasonably sure he's dead. <laughs> Vernon Penishcord, professional sword swallower. Well, he's dead, so therefore he wasn't very professional, now was he? Dynamite Jim Fresca. All the bits we could find. Oh. This tombstone is big and fancy and has a door on the front. What's in it? Inside there's a document and a weird little metal object. Okay. The document describes a tontine, the burial wishes of Chet Busterly, and a weird sequence of letters. B-T-L-I-T-R. That's weird. Should I note that somewhere? Oh, nope. Don't get out of there. I think I'm going to pull up a notepad real quick. Because why the heck not? There, just on the side here. B T L I T R. Oh, should I also maybe I should note the the name as well. I feel like this is one of it feels like one of those old games back in uh like the NES days where you actually had to note crap down and there wasn't internet. Chat Busters Lee and that code. Document in a weird, I'm going to take the metal object. It's a key fragment. Uh, inside the tombstone, there's the document again. So that's one. What about you? The tombstone is big and fancy. Uh, it requires lock picking, though. Safe cracking? Oh, jeez. I need to go find myself some books. Okay, what about in plot three? Xavier Hornhog, 1754 to 1802. Ran for mayor right off a cliff. Gina Slapradish, 1797 to 1848. Ate too many wasps. Boy, one is enough for me. Lucky Vinnie Pike. It's bound to run out sooner or later. <laughs> uh, embroidered herself to death. Oh, boy. You know, uh, that one guy. You know the one. Yeah, him. <laughs> Brad Haggins, the most strikingly rat-faced man of any of us we've ever seen. What the heck? Uh, Stan Rietta Minkleston, 1691 to 1738. Tried to eat a live eagle on a dare. The ground here, uh, Handful of loose teeth. Ouch. Hello, friend. Skeleton doesn't seem particularly threatening, apart from being a general reminder of your own mortality. Ah! No. 
Uh, hello, who are you? My name's Bernard, but shh, lower your voice. They'll hear us. Who, the cultist? Shh, yes. Not a fan? The reanimated dead people skeletons. I don't want to be reanimated. It sounds horrible. Ah. Uh, can you imagine having to walk around with your skin out? On? How embarrassing. Not to mention cold. Sure will. Plus, I, I mean, dying's hard enough. Who wants to come back to life just when you got used to being dead, right? I can see that. Please, can you do something? I don't want to, uh, them to find me. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll let you know when it's safe. Great, thanks. Uh, I'll just hang back here until the coast is clear. Hmm. A little bit uh, of a nitwit here. So is that it? I guess I just have to kill a whole bunch of cultists or reanimated skeletons or something. Makes sense to me. Oh dear. Hello. Paulette Tootsbury, 1833 to 1869. Died of a disease we don't have a name for yet. Hmm, Tootsbury. I, I wonder what that could possibly be. Is it dysentery? <laughs> that would be great. Skull chips. Perlita Fink, 1599 to 1638. Territorial scuffing champion. <laughs> I'm gonna move this window out of the way real quick. I messed with all of my windows as I was bringing up that one notepad. There we go, now I can see. Oh, hey, there's the cultist. Cool. You're not gonna get past this barrier of whirling bones without, well, making it so there's no barrier of whirling bones there anymore. Crush them. Dispel them. Shoot them. Hmm. So I have enough to do one of either of these things? I think I'd like to shoot them. You draw your pistol and deftly shoot the floating bones into bits that are too small to float. Nothing to it. Oh, and then these guys. Am I prepared for this? I don't even... I, I, I think... Let me see. I'm basically all set here, so I either go sleep now or I end up back there after passing out. One or the other. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of health packs either. Hello. These cultists look like they're barely maintaining control over that skeleton. Um, I don't really want to wait and see what kind of horror they decide to incarnate in this thing. He could become a super skeleton, and what do I do? You got this! Uh, <clears throat> Interrupt their ritual, sure. You throw a rock at the skeleton, which instantly explodes. Wow, that must have been a real high-energy ritual they were doing. You jerk! We were using that skeleton! You guys are jerks for using a skeleton in the first place. Ooh, I, I ought it. Okay. Hmm. So how is this gonna work? Oh my god, that's a lot of health. <clears throat> All right, well, strategize, strategize. This thing does not do a whole lot of damage to anything. Might do some good damage if I can manage to whittle these guys down a little bit. What else do I have in here? Ooh, activate an L Vibrato drone to fight for me. That actually sounds pretty cool right about now. I have not tried... Oh, neat! And now I have a little extra NPC. Fun. Uh, incendiary bullet. Trying to shoot this target will hit a bone barrier instead. Our bad. Gotcha. Uh, I'd assumed I'd wait. Might not got this. <laughs> um, I guess I'll try. I don't know. I wasn't really giving it my all in my other fights. Maybe now if I actually strategize and think about it, it'll work. Likely not, but hey. Ooh, yay. I can get a whole bunch of AP and just punch the shit out of things. That's possible. One hot damn. I have a whole lot of items available. I just need to use them properly. Uh, I'm not poisoned, so I don't need that. Weakening and making flammable. Interesting. And then now you have incendiary bullets. Try to shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure which one of these guys is more dangerous. 
and then that's a chemical bullet. Hmm. And then we have a couple of lassos to be able to hold people together for two rounds. I think I'm going to hold off on using any rope until I am certain that I need to rope somebody off. But I do think I'm going to get beefy. Now. These bone barriers do and need to, uh, indeed need to die, that's for sure. Let's start right from the top. Actually, I'm not even sure if the bone barrier can attack me or not. Probably not. Well, one's down, regardless. Oh good, spoop damage. Oh, goddamn robot. Useless junker. All right. Let's get that done. I, um, out of everybody here, it looks like these three are going to be the worst. So, right from the start. I, I kind of want to try the whole, like, the flamble thing. Unless the incendiary bolt will just, like, do it. Do things stay on fire longer at, when they are doused? in kerosene is what I'm wondering it makes sense and then of course I could look at some of the other stuff I do too <laughs> zero spooky damage uh yeah he is a cultist so I don't think that would work Ooh. I could try doing gore I suppose Never seen anything on fire, so... Yeah. Fair enough. So by row, I assume it means... This ways. That might actually be a pretty good attack for me to be attacking stuff in this row, and then... We could start working on some gun work. But Little Miss... Yeah, Little Miss uh, hates cows. I want to try... Um, Why not? Gonna take two action points, so this will be the end of my turn. Ooh, yep. By the boys, uh, by the by, spoiler alert: uh, avert thine eyes if I don't want those. Okay. Oh well, I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't really care too much about like ulterior spoilers for what could potentially happen with plot lines, but. If I waited, then they would have lost control of the spell and I'd been slaughtered by their skeleton. Oh. So it would just be a super powerful skeleton, and I wouldn't be fighting a whole bunch of people. Makes sense. So I saved these guys' asses. They should respect me. Ooh. Oh, I, I like this setup. Although I'm getting hit with a lot of spook damage. That robot sucks. Okay, all right. Um, I've lost pretty much all my action points. But, ooh, here I'm go. I'm gonna go ahead and take some drugs. I'm gonna pile on one more rush attack. Just to weaken everybody. Now. Shoot him! Oh, get in there. But I am also getting hit with a lot of spooks. Are you a serious robot? Come on. Alright. Um. I think punching one of these guys now would be the best option. Uh. Can't well. I suppose I could. One AP, usable once per fight. I think this ends my turn if I use it, though. Oh, uh, it would have rampaged off. I could have got off scot free. Damn it. Oh well. <sighs> okay, she's got seventy nine. 
This this is not going to kill him. This this is not going to kill him either. Shit. Hmm. I suppose I could soften them up with a little bit of dynamite. I kind of wish dynamite had splash damage. Not gonna lie. But that makes that makes sense, doesn't it? I know I would at least like one of these guys to be down. So. All right, he's down. Now, shoot center cultist. All right, I bought myself a little bit of time. Okay, um... I think I might be able to uh, do this now. <laughs> Dynamite would be so much more awesome with Splash. Yeah, I agree. Uh, at this stage, as long as the bone barriers don't start attacking me for some stupid reason, I think I'm good. Get out of here, bastard. And again, that frickin' robot. Here. Take him down, little mister. Victory! You've wrecked whatever, whatever foul sorcery they were trying to accomplish here, and then you wrecked their lives by ending them. Grave dirt, skull chips, and a little bit more muscle. Good. Can I become a demon now? There. It's a black book on a pedestal. Sure. Next max. <laughs> what? Wait. Gives you vampiric yodel skill. Um, sure. This seems like it's probably pretty dangerous. Are you sure you want to read it? Um. See, whenever they warn you about something like that, it's it tends to be something that you can't reverse. I don't know. I feel like I might want to know a vampiric yodeling thing. I wouldn't hate it. I'd like it to be an option. Why wouldn't I? But books have never steered me wrong. I'm not sure. Her. Uh, screw it. Are you certain? The dark arts are no laughing matter. This could really mess you up. Read it, I said. I changed my mind. Don't read it. Again, they're, they're really hinting, and it's like, ah, don't do the thing! All you know about next mechs is, is that they will be cool, skill, but they'll take some, uh, stats or something. It'll hurt me and make things hard. Ah. Oh, I see. Hmm. Then I might not want to do that. Just for the sake of not sabotaging things. Thed vroom. Nothing left but boots and teeth. Dang. Peninsula Wackersley. Nice lady, but a really unfortunate name. <laughs> Wackersley. Nothing in here but three bed rolls and a single stale smell. This is a hastily constructed, very shallow privy. Stench resistance? I've been in several spittoons! I should have stench resistance by now. Wait for it until I'm stronger. Okay. Very well. Hey, I'm taking care of the dudes. Let's see, I took care of them already. Great. Woo. That's a load off my mind. Let me tell you. Here, you can have this worry stone. I don't need it now. Worry stone. How's that work? What? Confused? Oh, plus six moxie. This rock has a hole rubbed into it by incessant worrying. <laughs> oh, I gotcha. Did I buy flowers from the kid to get in the stall? I do not remember that. I think I bought a flower from a kid in town, if, if that's what you're talking about. But I didn't know it had something to do about getting into a stall somewhere. I'm not sure. I've just sort of ambled around doing not much of anything. I mean, I've progressed, but I certainly haven't gotten a whole lot done aside from main uh, plot stuff. How are you guys doing? Hey, horsey. Oh, it has stench resistance. Okay. 
That's the reason you mentioned it. Gotcha, gotcha. Man, I, I don't need to go. <laughs> I, I don't need to be inside of an outhouse. Which I'd rather not. Hmm. So I got a couple of options for me here. Buffalo Pile or the old granddad. Thing is, I did this like two weeks ago and I don't remember what, it, what either of these were, so... You see a splash of color out in the corner of your eye, and it turns out to be a giant multicolored banner hung across the front of an old army fort. Ooh. Fort of Darkness. <laughs> sure. Uh, how am I about spoilers to come? Spoilers to come, I, I tend to try and avoid those as much as I can. All these cans have flowers stuck in the barrels. It's pretty. It's Fort of Darkness, but it, it, it looks pretty pretty, so... I don't know what the heck they're talking about, darkness. Loco weed. Climb up to the watchtower and take a look around. Nice view from up here. Oh, right, I, I don't... Right, because the binoculars are one-time use. That's... Uh, might be, ab uh, be able to help do a cool thing. Hey! Shoot. What what is that cool thing? Oh god, hippies. This guy seems to be in a daze, looking around uncomprehensively at the boots and cobbler's tools around him. Hi there. These are some pretty cool boots you made. Are they for sale? Uh oh uh, uh No, I mean like uh I'd like to sell them to you, but they aren't mine. You didn't make them? It's funny how everyone assumes that, but no, these were all made by elves. Okay, <laughs> elves. Yeah, man, like little elf guys. They're hard to see, like just out of the corner of your eye, you know, but I'll be just kind of standing here and just kind of, uh, and, and then I'm like, oh, hey, I got another pair of boots in my hands. I guess the elves made some more boots. Huh. I haven't made a pair of boots myself in, uh, I don't know, like a year, years, some. These elves keep making them, though. I don't know why. Weird. Okay. <laughs> you should open a book store, a boot store. Uh, bone pile. Do not use the spigots. Not until I've walked around and checked everything. It's vague, but I won't pull a Markiplier. Oh, no. Markiplier did something horrible. <laughs> I don't know. Don't use the spigots. You mean don't dig your hands into the spigots and try and find crap? Hmm. I think I've already failed that one. <laughs> or wait, are you talking... Are we talking spittoon? Because I stuck my hand in several spittoons and uh, did it to infinitum. It is kind of dumb. Like, uh, stuff that you wouldn't think would ultimately change the way the game is built. And then suddenly, the entire thing is destroyed. Like, you've lost an entire plot point that you could have traversed. I've seen that a couple of times. I know you can do that a lot in, like, The Witcher 3. Where suddenly, oh, mission failed. Can't do it again. There's, like, a potion thing that I can make. Uh... Tunes, spigots, at Brown Hill, I'm saying? Anyway, you should open up a bookstore. Uh, a boot store, rather. A store to sell your boots in? They're not mine, though. They're... Right, right, the elves. But the elves can't be making them just for fun, right? I think they're making them so you can sell them. Oh, huh. yeah, that makes sense. Oh, hey! There's a town called Dirtwater. You could open a really nice shop there. That's, uh, that's a pretty long trip. <laughs> but, like, it'd be dangerous. I, I'd be worried the elves wouldn't make it, you know? Hmm. I'll let you know if I think of anything. And then we got Hippie Lady. It looks like they are just completely high off their minds on these mushrooms. Uh, that's what you're saying. When I go to the Bone Pile place, 
Uh, it's on my map. Don't fiddle with the spigots. Bone pile. Uh, where would that have been on the map? Also, does it... Is it just in the shape of a bone pile? Or does it come up, like, later? I'm not seeing any bone piles. Or, well, there's the buffalo pile. That sort of has bones in it. So, what's your story? This young lady is dressed in fancy, expensive traveling clothes. Though hard... Uh, wait. Though hard wear has made them dirty and ragged. Also, her pupils are about the size of teacups. <laughs> wow, hi, a new face. My name's, um... One second. Irene, she giggles. Hee <laughs> hee. Everyone here just calls me Mushroom, so I forget sometimes. Howdy, Irene. I'm Heathcliff. What's your story? Oh, not much to tell. I was hitchhiking to Frisco a few months back, but I stopped here and never got around to continuing, you know? We're like a big, happy family here, and everyone's so nice and appreciative of how I know so much about mushrooms. Mushrooms? Uh-huh. They're good for all kinds of things, if you know which ones to pick. If you want, I can sell you a few of my favorites. I have a spare pair of mushroom pliers, too, if you want to pick your own. Ooh. Um, I kind of like the idea of having those pliers, in case I need to get those. Leave those spigots alone until, uh... Until I explore. Okay. Sounds good. I do like... Ever, I guess I need to do a lot more exploring before I decide to take action in this game. That's one thing I'm kind of learning. It's the fact that I'm losing a whole lot of opportunities just by being like, I'm going to do the thing. Oh, I shouldn't have done the thing. I just realized your guy's name is Heathcliff. And uh, the fifth that's the fifth edition name. Oh, your D&D &D character. Neat. Awesome. I just uh, picked Heathcliff because it reminded me of that one cat cartoon. I don't know. I never watched Heathcliff. And I'm just like, oh, that reminds me of a kitty. Anyways, got the mushroom plucking pliers. Here you go. I'd share the location of my secret mushroom hunting cave with you, but I lost my knapsack with my map in it. I don't think I could explain how to get there just in, like, words. Good luck, though. Hooray, mushroom pliers. The boot guy is still standing here, staring into space. <laughs> Let's see. Workshop. Got a couple more tents, I assume, of other random people. God damn hippies! Give me bones. Oh, please. It... Chill out, madam. It, it's fine. Wow. She's on something a little bit more powerful than mushrooms, I think. Three more days. Hello, Mario. Hi, I'm Heathcliff. Teeth, teeth, teeth. Clavicle, femur, teeth. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Wow, okay. Uh, here's some skull chips. You hand her some bone chips and she stops muttering. Her eyes seem to focus a little. And she takes some glue out of her toolbox and presses the chips into a ring. Why? <laughs> As soon as she gives the ring to you, though, she's back to her muttering. Nice, thank you. Cool. The ring is made of compressed bone chips and glue. Have more random encounters with skeletons. Hell no! Why would I want that? Curse me, lady! What about you? Hi, I'm Heathcliff. Salutations, Heathcliff. They call me the talking dude because of my extensive knowledge of the principles of philosophy and the arguments and conundrums surrounding its various aspects and interpretations. I bet that's not why they call you that. <laughs> Can I interest you in a discussion of the particulars of Kurtzian philosophy, Heathcliff? I'm uh, sure. Just keep spouting off your words. I'm cool with that. Talking dude begins as you immediately tune out. Blah, 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 but why is reality really blah, 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 Cool. Blah, 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 brain in a jar somewhere, blah, blah. Yes. Yes. No, it's cool. No, you're not crazy. Keep him talking with the subtlest of body language. 
Hedonism's my only choice. Blah, 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 blah. Amazing. How long does this go? Holy shit. Dialectical materialism, blah, blah, blah. Necessary and sufficient condition, blah, 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 blah. Try not to yawn. Your posture alone is enough to keep him talking. Blah, blah, blah. Free will. Cool. Blah, blah. As opposed to blah, blah. Cartesian dualism, blah, 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 blah. Do you actually know any of the words that's coming from your mouth, or are you just saying stuff to sound smart? I've run into people like that before. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Allegory of the cave. Blah, dee, darp, you herp, it up, it up. Hedonism is the only ch Is this one of those dialogue trees that just keeps going as long as I stand here? <laughs> I think that's what's happening. Yep. Holy shit, wait, what? It actually seems like some of this is rubbing off on you. You got the perk. Kurtzian Philosopher. Sure. Weird. I got a thing. I'm gonna leave. See, see ya, dude. I, I guess good thing I, I know that now. Ooh. Hello there. Oh, scientist man! Hello. Uh, hello. Yes, hello. Yes, I'm Todd. Heathcliff, pleased to meet you. So, uh, what do you do around here, Todd? I'm a chemist. I've been researching the properties of some of the local mushrooms. Properties like what? I like how they get you totally wrecked. <laughs> yeah, I can clearly see that. This entire village is nothing but mushroom. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. They actually have a lot of interesting properties that could be a real boon to medicine. They may even hold a solution to many psychological disorders. It certainly causes a lot. Ah, oh, well, uh, that's pretty interesting. The fact they also get you absolutely smashed is just a happy side effect. <laughs> Whoa! I see. If you have any Lactarius Dirtahipica mushrooms, I can refine them into a more potent por portable, i.e. a potion. <laughs> Ooh, neat. Health potions. Complicated looking chemical equipment. Self-laden with powers and fluids. And then you appear like you are about to drop the sickest beats on the planet. This woman is rocking back and forth, making <laughs> sounds as, rap as she rapidly flaps her lips with her fingers. Oh, was that more about? <laughs> I have no freaking clue. Hi. Hey, I have the jaw harp. <laughs> Holy shit! You gave her the jaw harp. What's this? It's kind of a musical instrument. You bite that narrow part and then, uh, well, basically just do what you've been doing. She gives it a few experimental twangs and boings and then knocks out a sweet riff. <laughs> oh, gee. Jaw harp solo. Wow, this thing is like a revelation. Thanks. I feel like maybe I should take this show on the road. Maybe try the Jewel Saloon in Dirtwater. Sounds good to me. Thanks again. She leaves, plucking the twanger the whole way. Bang, bang, bang. I'm kind of glad I didn't throw that out. Which I considered every once in a while. It's like, should I sell this? It's just kind of keeping dust. Like, you know, it's, it's collecting dust in my inventory. Aerobics class? <laughs> God damn this game. This tall, muscular, bald man is leading his students in an aerobic workout routine. His voice is powerful, yet disconcertingly soft as he counts off. One and two and three and four. Now, excuse me, what's going on here? Exercise, you must strengthen the body. If the body is weak, the mind cannot be strong. These two are one. Who are you? I am Kurtz. My methods will usher in a new age of power and will. Can I exercise with you? You do not have the proper attire. Before muscle comes skin. Before skin comes clothing. You look around and sure enough, everybody else is wearing the same striped pants and weird fuzzy headbands. So I need to go and find those? Well then. This record must be from a foreign country where music is way weirder. I like it. It's jazzy. Maybe it comes from Russia. It's a sealed crate of old army supplies. Hard tack. Chemical bull- Oh, cool. More chemical bullets. 
Hard attack. Smelling salts. Good. I used up some smelling salts before. It's a bunch of military manuals. They all look too complicated for you. Yeah, except for one. Cannon loading for idiots. <laughs> I love it. This book is so rudimentary that it's insulting to your intelligence, even though you know how n nothing about loading cannons works here. Um, I mean... I could learn how to load a cannon, goddammit. Uh, should I just hand that over to somebody now? I guess. One of the drawers of the cabinet is open or crack. There's only a file in the drawer, and it's a discharge record for a soldier who died from eating poisonous mushrooms. The last entry says she was buried in plot 420 of the military century up north. Cemetery, rather. You mark the location of it on your map. Military cemetery. Cool. Big pile of old military supplies. Uh-huh. So I guess this is all the stuff that the hippies didn't figure out how to get into. Whiskey, smelling salts, military school class... Ooh, plus eight pistol attack damage. That's fun. Ah, damn it, I do not have safe Kraken. I would like safe Kraken. I don't really know how to get it. It's probably a dialogue tree I... No. It's probably a dialogue tree I have not gone and looked for. Oh, and now I'm out. Pretty sure that was everything. <laughs> Frickin' horse. Alright. So now that I've gone there. Alright, so Buffalo Pile. And like you said, apparently I need to just avoid the spittoons. There's a goblin marching down the trail in a soldier's uniform, the pants of which have been seriously pinned up to account for goblins' stubby little legs. It salutes when it sees you. Hello! Hello, what's up? I'm soldiering! Yes, I can see that. I didn't think there were any goblins in the military. What's your unit? Well... Where a uniform getting? From dead soldier mans! So, I'm soldier now! Not quite how it works. Ah, dang it. I don't really want to... I, I like the goblins. I don't want to fight you. Whatever. Holy shit. Buffalo, buffalo. Buffalo to buffalo, buffalo. Boy. This seems like a bad thing to be walking into. Okay. Wow. It's covered with a bunch of weird cards. Pestilent gargoyle. Yuck. Nauseating fairy. Murderous organs. Bloody ghost. Horse-sized hippopotamus. Abysmal spider. So the room of mixy mix, no touchy, KK, good. Explore first. Gotcha. <laughs> Abominable hippopotamus. Alright. Candelabras. Let's see. What do we got? You hear a lot of activity down that corridor. Chanting, shuffling of robes, clattering of bones. Scary stuff. You really shouldn't go down there. Um, I'll try the other door since there's another one. Ooh, okay. Blood, milk, ichor, and lemonade. Interesting. I'm going to just leave that sit. Anything else is sitting around in here? No. No, I don't think so. Buffalo pile stored up. Oh. Atop the slab, there's a skeleton-shaped identification with a buffalo skull-shaped identification where the normal human sc skull-shaped identification should be. Now, that's a good thing to keep in mind if you end up in a possession of the bones necessary to fill in the identification. Brr. Okay, if I find bones, I'll come back. Ooh. You look through the bars and see hundreds of buffalo-human skeleton hybrids. Oh, God! No! Three to a cell. Keys are hanging right next to the door. You could let some out if you wanted, but they all look pretty angry. I'll hold off for now. Ooh. These shelves are filled with hundreds of crates, each full of buffalo and human bones, carefully sorted. 
You don't really have anything specific you want to do with human or buffalo bones right now. So while you appreciate how organized these guys are, there's not really anything here for you. Well, I mean, if I find the right bones, I could do stuff with that. Maybe. I... Unsure, honestly. Bathroom. Oh, good. I should really use scenting candles in here. That'd be nice. This is clearly a, a good toilet. Yay. This is clearly the bad toilet. Huzzah. <laughs> Bones rule. Skull? Yeah. Spare cot. What do we got here? Ooh, hello. Another black hood and a bottle of buffalo tranquilizers. Cool. That's empty. There's a poster. Oh, hey, a wardrobe. So if something decides to jump out at me. There's a wicked-looking leather-bound tome on this pedestal. Oh, another book from X-Mex. I guess I'll just hold on to that one. Which version of Nexmex is it? Intermediate frightening topics in Nexmex. Ray Skeletal Thrall. Oh boy. We settle in amongst the thick black robes. It's pretty comfortable. You wait and wait and finally hear some noises outside as a couple of cultists pass through on their way from somewhere to somewhere else. You don't catch much of what they say, but what you do hear is... Ecor after blood, way to go, stud. Why is Doug having so much trouble with this? Ecor after blood, way to go, stud. Feel like that's another thing I should be noting. Let's see, so it's Ecor after blood. Way to go, stud. I'm, I'm just gonna write that down, just in case. Wait some more. Wait a while longer, uh, and the cultists pass through again. This time you overhear something different. Remember what the big guy said? Blood before Ikor starts that soldier's... Oh, is it supposed to be a uh, ticker? Icker? That's what it's supposed to be pronounced? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, probably a good thing to note. Wink. Yeah. I don't know. Th this game has basically taught me. It's just like, you better remember... Uh, Ecker, start that soldier ticker. So can we like restart people's hearts? You wait a while longer and the cultist pass through again. This time you overhear something different. Doug, remember this. Uh, oh boy. And this one is... Ecker before blood. Bad idea, bud. I'm not your bud. <laughs> you wait a while longer and the cultists pass through again. This time you overhear something different. Oh, and this is the uh, same thing. Ecor after blood, way to go stud. Oh, hey, this is a different one. Although, is that the exact same... Or am I supposed to be putting this down a th another time? Or what is it? Yeah, Ecor after blood, way to go stud. That, that was literally something that was said before, but I'm going to copy-paste it either way. And then this one is... You wait a while longer. That's not at all, remember? Blood before milk, an obsolete... Uh, as obsolete as the word thilk. Blood before milk, as obsolete as the word. Uh, I have no idea if this is going to be useful at all. Um, don't need everything, just the uh blood blood ecor stuff. Also, not here forever. Just need three components. So that's everything, I guess. 
Just the blood ecor. Is that all I needed to know? Like stuff about the blood uh, before ecor and the blood after ecor or what? Ecor after blood, way to go stud. And then ecor before blood, bad idea, bud. Is that all I needed? Uh, I have permission to touch the mixing room now. I, I, I don't feel like I probably could. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be trying to do right about now. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be mixing stuff, that's for sure. I'm covered in big beakers. Like, am I basically... <laughs> I love how one of them's lemonade. <laughs> that wasn't even mentioned. So, am I supposed to mix all four of these into a cup at once, or just, like, one particular thing? I need three bits, and I have the combo I need now. All right. So, Ecor after blood, way to go, stud. Here, how about this? I'm going to go ahead and type it all down here. So, Ecor after blood. So, it's going to be blood, and then afterwards, it's going to be Ecor in some way. You can give me an easier uh, Easter egg for this, by the way. Okay, give, no, give me a second. I'm typing it out on a, a word pad separate here. I don't think I can drag it into the chat. Okay, Ecor is absolutely going to be happening after blood, so I'm typing that down. Um, blood before Ecor. Start the soldiers. Uh, well, it's Icor, but I I pronounce it Ecor because I'm broken. Start the soldiers ticker. Um. Blood before milk, as obsolete as the word silk. Um, so am I just... Milk is one of the ingredients, correct? So that means, okay, blood before milk, as obsolete as the word silk. So milk has got to go before blood then. So the combination would be milk, blood, ichor according to this. All right. Got the baker. Milk, blood, ichor. You open the milk faucet and fill the beaker a third of the way up. Oh, yes. Blood. You open the blood faucet and pour some blood into the already partially full beaker. And ichor. The liquid in the beaker begins to bubble. Steam rises from the beaker as the reaction intensifies. The intense heat of the reaction fuses the ichor spigot into a useless mass of metal. The boiling subsides, and what's left in the beaker is... Yes, yes, tell me, tell me! When the smoke clears, you're left with a beaker full of liquid that is unmistakably buffalo reanimating fluid. It's unmistakable because somehow the reaction caused the beaker to become labeled, and the label says that it's buffalo reanimating fluid. You got an item. Beaker of buffalo reanimating fluid. That's just science. Well, now I have buffalo reanimating liquid. I'm so confused. So, I'm guessing I'm supposed to be doing maybe something with... That slab, or... Something with the bones, or... Easter egg. Yeah, by all means, what Easter egg? If I want it. Um, as long as it's not some sort of, like, plot-destroying thing. I I'm cool with Easter eggs. This game itself is one gigantic joke, so I, I don't have too much problem with an Easter egg. Milk, milk, lemonade. Ooh. Okay. It's just a cute thing. Okay. Liquid in the beaker begins to bubble. Steam rises from the beaker as the reaction intensifies. Steam from the reaction causes the lemonade faucet to get clogged up. The boiling subsides, and what's left in the beaker is... When the reaction subsides, you're left with a beaker full of surprisingly delicious-looking fudge. <laughs> The whole process really turned a corner on you. 
Lemonade became fudge. All right. Great. Oh, hello. You hear a lot of activity down that corridor. Yeah. So I guess you, you have to go counterclockwise in this place all the time, I suppose. Um, well then. This is a beaker full of foul bubbling fluid that you concocted from the ingredients in those giant vats at the buffalo pile. Ta-da. Uh, I guess I'm still very, very confused as to why I have a cup of buffalo reanimating fluid now. Unless I can somehow pour it onto a set of bones. Or maybe when I kill buffalo, I can reanimate them and uh, have them join my cause. Oh, there's a pile of trash next to the bad toilet. Burn scroll. What? Scroll has mostly been burned beyond legibility, but you can just barely make out something about hell cow energy in between scorch marks. Scroll's in bad shape, and you can't really make out anything new, but you're convinced this must be another clue to the whereabouts of the necromancer. Oh, nice. Uh, for the buffalo fluid, you got nothing right now. Do stuff right, I get a cool from Miller. Okay. Anderson. Well, I, I have the thing, so I guess that's nice. What's going on out here? Several buffaloes. The buffalo is the buffalo. Hello, horsey. So I've been curious for a while. I, I wonder... Old granddad. Looks like someone left the uh, campfire burning. That's dangerous. On closer inspection, it turns out to be a nest of fire snakes. That's still pretty dangerous. Hmm. We got the jump on them this time. All right. They have... Uh, Considerable amount of health. Uh, remember to come back if I get another needle. I think I, I think I have needles. It's just I needed lock picking level three. I think is what it was. All right. So I have three action points. I guess I could beef up and then I could just run a train through two of these just to start. Kick the asses. All right, Missy. Shoot the one in the back. Ooh, not bad. <laughs> nice try. Ah, yeah, you losers. How dare you think you can contend with me? One punch! Aw, uh, you almost got me. Ooh, hello. Snake spleen, snake venom, snake spleen, fire moccasin skin. Okay. Oh, hello. Look at the size of that thing. That is a very large cactus. Ow. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yeah, it's, it's the biggest cactus in the world. Probably the most prickly and most heartful. Oh, hey, hello. What are you doing? Guard blocks your path. Hey, hi, no claiming for humans. I'm here for taking back a jar of jelly beans, you goblin stealing. Oh, hey, no, oh, what? Jelly beans, little colorful sugar, sugar things. Oh, little fruit rocks? Yeah, those. Those are for the pile. What? Anyway, no upstairs for our humans. Maybe we can trading. No trading, but you can bribe me. Okay, cool. What do you want? A candy bar. Good human candy bar. Of the bubbles, having you know it. <laughs> do you mean this? No, yes, wonderful. Thanking you. Can I climb now? Sure. Jeez. At least the ladder isn't actually made out of cactus. I'm guessing each one of these bastards is going to be standing in front of the ladders and asking for things. 
There's another goblin here blocking another ladder. Hello, no climbing for humans. Can I bribing you letting me climb? Oh, okay. What are you wanting? Cactus syrup. A delicious vein is being in the other room, but had losing my tap. Do I have a tap anywhere? I don't think so. No freaking clue. Also, let me see. I have nothing in my inventory that directly says anything about a tap. Maybe there's one inside the room? I don't know. Dang it. Hmm. If you were a tap, where would you be in this pile of junk? Oh, damn it. Make a tap, find a tap. To heck with that tap. There's a gash in the wall of the cactus here, revealing a vein of sticky purple goo. I don't... I don't like the fact that apparently the innards of a cactus are purple. I don't think that is actually the case. Well... Damn it, I don't... I don't have the moxie required for that. Got any stat boosters? I think so. Let's see, error. No, so, uh, well, I guess my my stats are kind of filled up. I could go and sleep and attempt to try and just push my moxie to an, an insane levels. Uh, da, 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 da. That's possible. I have not slept in a while, so I could do that. Here, two dirt water. Alright. The only way to get the uh, the tap is with the thing there. Okay, you need Moxie or Mysticality to get it. Check the fudge and other stuff, yes. You go to sleep. You dream that you're singing old songs about death in a canoe. For some reason, you go out drinking with a horse. <laughs> Wake up. Refreshed and restored. And hungry. And sober. How dare I? Day four. Okay, so... Inventory-wise for my consumables. What do I got here? Muscle, Mysticality, and Moxie by 23 for the rest of the day. Holy shit. That's very impressive. Ah, fudge. So now I know where I can get my hands on some fudge. Fudge mental. <laughs> Weird. Let me see. Well, my mysticality is up to... What was it, like 40? I need mysticality to be? So I think I'm already there. If that is anything to uh, be indicated. Well, gosh darn it, I don't remember the numbers. Good Easter egg, no? Winky wink wink. Trying to recall. Well, I'm going to go out to the cactus. Comb his mane. He makes a sort of noise. To old granddad. Yes, apparently the, the fudge is very godly. Excuse me, sir. Owie. Make a tap. You'll bolt a flange onto a pipe and then add a couple of rusty widgets. It's not pretty, but it's a tap. You'll also find an empty jar in the pile, which will be handy. Ow. Cool. I have Sapino. Hello. Hello, having syrups? Yes. Hooray! The guard guggles, guzzles the entire bottle in a single long draw. It is both fascinating and disgusting. Needing more for proper bribing? Oh, come on. The dude downstairs was perfectly fine with a bar of soap. Eh. Fine. Some more cactus. Ow! Ow! This time the guard moves away from the ladder, so they have plenty of room to guzzle the syrup. Good. Right, now there's you. What do you want? Hello, hi! I cannot. Nope! 
Okay, can I? Yep, bringing me goblin elixir. What's that? A potion of extra delicious being so good. Okay, I'll go get that then. And I'm guessing it has to do with this door. Ooh. This table is covered with flasks, beakers, bottles, tubes, burners, and all the other equipment that makes up a super elaborate alchemy table. Including a whole bunch of different colored liquids and powders and stuff. Can I make a goblin elixir? Well, it's easy for you to say. <laughs> uh, look for some instructions. You find a scrap of paper in a drawer that looks maybe like instructions for an elixir. But it's all in goblin science jargon that you don't understand at all. Crap. Should I know about goblin science before I try and do this? Something tells me I shouldn't just start mixing things. I don't want to ruin something. I certainly don't want to kill a goblin for no reason. I am uncertain. Harf. Honestly, hey. <laughs> Mixed shit and it worked. <laughs> really. Hmm. Pick up a baker and look at the ingredients. Start with some lumps, some liquid, and some powder. I will... I will go with just a little bit of lumps. I had some uh, indigo granules, some brown ooze, and I'm gonna spin it. Mr. turns gray and starts to smoke like crazy. <laughs> you manage to pitch the concoction out the window and duck under a table just in time. It explodes with a tooth rattling bang! Jeez, this alchemy is tricky stuff. All right. I'm going to go. I'm gonna start with some blue slime. Uh, some black syrup. Good God, this is so good. All right, some violet powder. Stir it up. Settles down. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem immediately life-threatening. Smells terrible, though. Hey! How about that? I done the thing! Are you ready for bribing? Here's the uh, elixir. Oh, good, yes! Gama moves away from the ladder and takes little sips from the flask, savoring the flavor. Is it good? <laughs> yes! Perfect! XP, 58. Oh, why? Enjoy, buddy. Good God. Why? Holy crap, if this isn't the most disturbing thing you've ever seen, I don't want to know what was. Hey, uh, guys, those jelly beans, can I have them? I want our fruit rocks. No! No taking our fruit rocks. These big ours, not for your taking. Hooray for mixing random shit. Jeez Louise. Well, what's your plan for dealing with this horror? Ah! Yank a goblin off the pile and fight it. Pop three off and fight them. Uh, the same again, except five of them. Uh, I guess we could try and talk to them. But not looking like you're eating them. A jar is still full. What are you eating? Fruit rocks, not for eating. Fruit rocks just for looking at. You're just looking at them? Not fitting through floor hole. Can't leaving room. Fruit rocks only entertainment being. Good grief, that's sad. Okay, how about I teaching you something else for entertaining? Um, something better than fruit rocks looking at? <laughs> Popping goes wrong. Okay, sounds good. Are you agreeing? I'm not certain. What be uh, what being better than fruit rocks looking at? Thumb wrestling. <laughs> God damn it. You teach the goblins how to thumb wrestle and how to set up a basic single elimination tournament bracket. Soon they're totally preoccupied with their new pastime, and you're free to grab those sweet beans. Sweet. Ow. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Damn it. Criminy. Why? There is it this way. No, this is the tap room. Ow, shit. Who sets up camp in a freaking cactus? There. So, yeah, now I have jelly beans. Oh, I also, yeah. 
So I guess now it's time to go down to the bean house. Oh, hello. Your elf vibrato starts uh, beeping, and the beeping leads you to an unremarkable sand dune, which quickly becomes remarkable when the robots buried underneath it wakes up. Oh, you're pretty. Hmm. Well then, I think I'm going to get beefy and punch the bastard. Because I haven't done that in a while. Wha-bam! <laughs> hey, I should go back. I didn't step on some cactus. <laughs> Clearly I failed. I need more stabbing. I've stepped on plenty of cactus in my time. Good night, robot. Elvirator scraps. Good. Hello, sir. How you doing on them jelly beans, kid? Got them. Wonderful. Good job, kid. Looks like they're all here, too. Goblins didn't eat any? It's a long and weird story. <laughs> well, never mind, then. Yeehaw! Scale up. Bull stomp level three. Good. That thing needs to be powered up. You done a swell job, kid. I've only got one more jar of jelly beans missing. They were stole by a gang of damn hippies. Oh. I think I've met them. Why'd they take them? Heck, who knows what a hip is thinking. All I know is they took off headed south a little bit west. Shroom. Oh, God. Yep. Guess I'm going to be hugging some hippies. South, eh? Oh, yeah, right there. And I happen to have shroom pliers. The already intense heat intensifies. Sweat stings your eyes. And while it's stinging them, you fail to use the... Wait. You failed to use them to notice that you've ridden right into the middle of a herd of pyrobobs. Hop down and ready my weapon. Oh, this might be tough. Okay. Hmm. I think we can do this. First of all, I really should have actually buffed my stats that weren't Moxie. Oh well. All right, little missy, you... Mm. I can take care of those ones. You shoot the ones on the side. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, they're gonna be targeting her, aren't they? Shit. Did not consider that. Whoops. Ow! Okay. Well, friend is down. But I can make a little bit of shorter work on these guys. A little bit. Here, how much is this going to take down? Um. Oh, it's not going to kill the one in front. It'll, pr yeah, it'll probably kill the one right in the center. I, I think I'd like to make sure that the one in the center, I'd like to maim one and kill one for sure. Oh, dear. Um, yeah. This might have been a mistake. Crap. Well, I'm not on fire. Hmm. One of the best options that I could possibly think of. I could hold a couple of these guys down and then just... Uh, no, I mean... Hmm. I feel like this is kind of a lost cause, actually. Just a little bit. Hot damage is not going to do anything to them. <laughs> Shit. Ooh. Well, I could... Eh. I mean... Will getting them wet do anything? I... I, I am curious. Well, it's still on fire! That doesn't help me. Doesn't even, like, identify that it's wet? No. It really doesn't. Welp. Go out swinging, I guess. Shoot. 
Herpkins wraps his tail around your foot and drags you the rest of the way to where you were headed. <laughs> Thank you, Herpkins. Okay, so now that I've um, dealt with that, I think now would be a good time to actually buff my stats a little bit. So what should I be using for that? Food, booze, potions, combat type of stuff. Uh, those are combat items, so can only use those then. Spooky spell melee. A lot of this stuff has just been sitting inside my inventory for the entirety of the game. But the sugar, I got the sugar guns a long time ago. Depressed rancher candy. I am kind of a, a melee build, so I might want to go with that. There we go. And then I got a whole bunch of drinks. Muscle, Moxie, Derp de Hirsuta, um... Increase muscle by five. Uh, that's actually not bad. Sure. I just want to be able to punch things and they immediately fall over. Gasping for breath. Speed. Muscle and mysticality. Interesting. And then there's cheap wine. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, ghost beer. <laughs> I Yeah, if I have to go to sleep again, I gotta go back to the ghost town. Because apparently there's some ghost whiskey waiting for me. Like, it, it's not horrible, actually. Muscle, Mysticality, and Moxie buy five for the rest of the day. I'll drink it. Why not? Okay. Ah. Uh, what else do I got? What da 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 Hmm. <laughs> oh god, maybe not. Maybe not. This is meat from a cow that is literally a demon. Are you sure you want to eat this? No. Not really. Ooh, hello. Increase your melee damage by 50. Jesus. Thank you. I don't remember if any of these things are quest items. I hope not. In a while. Let's see. Well, my muscle is at 59. Holy crap. Mysticality? Meh. What What am I... Um, moxie is a little bit down there right now. Maybe I might want to up my moxie a bit. Oh, actually, armor might be a good thing. I'm gonna go with that. And then... Gain an effect. Tack hard. That was hard. Need one more spleen item. Sarsaparilla. Yeah, let's let's up. You uncork the lot enum and spill most of it on the ground before drinking the remainder. It's just as well. The whole bottle would definitely have killed you. <laughs> oh, good. Then. There we go. I think that will do for me. So, mushrooms. So we're looking for some specific special ones. Like, ow. Ow. Local weed. I'm not... I don't have the harvesting thing. That was probably a long time ago, and I just haven't found it. All right. Wow. That's a lot of shrooms. I mean, I'm not surprised, but... I want to make a Mario joke, but I can't come up with one that isn't tired and outdated. Ooh. Someone lost a very dirty knapsack. Hey, I remember that. It contains some loose bits of granola and some very, very dirty clothes. Oh, and a map. The map is labeled Shroom Locations and shown a weird convoluted trail leading to a big X. You recognize the X as this very cave. The sort <laughs> So you found the location and you lost your knapsack there. Great. The source of the trail looks like it's right near the weird fort full of dirty weirdos. Yep. Absolutely. Oh, good. You're a cultist. <laughs> cultist looks completely zonked out. 
muttering and twitching in his sleep. Mushroom crumbs litter the floor around him. Put him down. I mean, I could. I, I'd rather not be ruthless. Loot his uh, That is... Holy shit. Grab everything that isn't nailed down. Skeleton bone, human ashes, discipline slip. Looks like one of the necromancer's cultists got written up. Two more of these and he'll be ritually eviscerated. You read over the infraction listed on the slip. Looks like one of the cultists was gathering dangerous mushrooms. Curious. You stick the slip in your journal. Hmm. Collection of clues. Okay. Let's see. The robe receipt you found was uh, let you determine that the necromancer's lair is west of the mountains. You found the weird ley line diagram, but you don't know how to interpret it. Somebody to help you. Somebody smart or somebody who knows a lot about magic. Cryptic note about hell cow energy. The uh, necromancer's lair must be near the crazy portal you found at Hellstrom Ranch. This one slipped that mentioned dangerous mushrooms, but you don't really know what to do with that information. We need to more about mycology. You don't even want to think about what this guy's hallucinations are like. <laughs> I assume they're horrifying. He's just gonna wake up, it's like, bees, bees! Oh, okay. Well, I didn't see any special type of mushrooms out here. Unless I wasn't looking close enough. Like maybe this one. I didn't get any kind of prompt saying just like, harvest the thing, no. Knapsack and this sleeping fool. Dum ba da dum bum ba da dum dum ba da 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 da. Okay, so we found that stuff. I feel like it might be a good idea for me to head back over to the hippies. Have a chat with them. Who? Out in the open desert amongst the rocks and dunes and underneath the scorching desert sun, you encounter a chef. That probably doesn't sound all that strange comparatively, but hold on while I go into more detail. He has somehow hauled a full-size iron pot belly stove out into this blistering hot hole and is cooking something on it. Though you can't tell what because all you see in the pan is fire. Rather than being drenched in sweat, he is literally steaming. Furthermore, he is muttering wildly to himself. Hotter, gotta be hotter, hot, hot, gotta cook, cook, cook it right, uh, right through, needs to be hot, hotter, hotter. Hmm. I'd rather not kill him. Try to talk some sense into him, but it only makes him angry. Um, he knocks you out. Fortunately, he's too embroiled in his cooking to settle your harsh punishment. Herpkins, uh, tail, son of a bitch. Oh, hippies! Oh, I have climbed up the watchtower. Hold on a second. Well, let's just go visit you. I can buy a mushroom. Ah, oh, yes. You seen any jelly beans? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had some jelly beans recently. I don't quite remember. Oh, they're in my lounge. Where's your lounge? I don't quite remember. It's only there part of the time anyway. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Would you like to buy a mushroom? No. What about you? Jalen Beans? Weird. No, I haven't seen anything like that. Ask the elves, maybe. I'll give it a shot. You know anything about Irene's lounge? He glances nervously at Irene and lowers his voice to a whisper. No, I don't really talk to her much. The elves don't trust her. Gotcha. Can never be too careful, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Was there anything about the boat store after that? I don't know. Okay. I need to figure out a way to convince him that... No, no, no. The elves will be fine. Unsure. And you guys... Uh, oh, God. Uh, seen any jelly beans? Teeth, jawbone, jawbone, teeth, teeth. Oh, yeah. 
Is it about the lounge? Teeth, 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 lumbar, vertebra. Okay, sure. Good God. See any jelly beans? Well, first we take care to define our terms. What does it mean to see jelly beans? And what if what I saw as jelly beans are different than what you see as... Uh, cut the crap before I cut you. <laughs> Wait, I uh, cut it for you, rather. I will cut you, though. I am a ruthless son of a bitch. Um, no, I am not. But I do know that Irene, the newest, and dare I say the most delightful of our little clan, is particularly fond of them. You might ask her. Okay, can I ask you in a, a discussion? No. Okay, you know where Irene's lounge is? I've been there, but for some inexplicable reason, I was never invited to return. Inexplicable? Probably talked her ear off. I would self-actualize by returning to my own, but I don't remember where it was, and Todd will not tell me. It's quite frustrating. Okay. So none of you know anything about... You're the most sensible person here. Help me. Do you need jelly beans? No. <laughs> I'm not interested in jelly beans unless they're the kind of jelly beans that get you completely blasted. I don't think that's a real thing. But no, it is. I heard they got them in Frisco. <laughs> kind of. Uh, are you are you trying to look for um, like be bean boozled type of jelly beans? That doesn't seem safe, you know, for kids. Uh, do you know where Irene's lounge is? Oh yeah, I do. Don't. Uh... Uh, don't tell the talking dude if you don't mind, but it's in that cave where we get all our mushrooms. I didn't see any lounge there. It's, uh, you gotta be, uh... He jerks his thumb at the apparatus behind him and winks at you. Complicated looking chemical equipment. Oh. So, do I need to be high? I'm getting the suspicion that I need to be high. Great. And then there's you guys. Keep dancing. Keep partying. Okay, I've already checked everything here except for... Alright, last entry says she was buried at Plot 420 Military Cemetery up north. I'll check that out in a little while. So do I need to go buy a mushroom? I feel like I do. It's a thousand meats, though. God damn it. Fine, I got scratch to burn. Oh, Lactarius. Oh, nice. There you are. These are called Lactarius Dirty Hippica. And they're very spiritual. Sometimes they let you see things that only exist in realms outside our own and stuff. Plus, they're super groovy and mellow. Hello, Biscuits. How's it going? Neat, thanks. Apparently, I'm going to get high on mushrooms. I do not condone. <laughs> Absolutely do not. All right, here you go. Mushroom. He boils up the mushroom and distills the results into a little bottle for you. You got an item. Dirty Hippica Extract. Go easy on this stuff. That has a real kick to it. <laughs> Thank you. I thought there was something else to that mushroom, uh, that mushroom cave. Okay. Oh, hello. Hear gunshots and someone shouting nearby and decide to investigate. This instinct is basically what separates an adventurer from a sane person. You find a bandit in scorched and blackened clothes, wildly firing his pistol at the scenery. Everything he shoots bursts into flame somehow. <laughs> Go to hell, cactus! Go to hell, scorpion! Go to hell, rocky! <laughs> Great. I ain't disagreeing. Just send a little scenery to the cow lords below. How about I send you two? You make a fine and dandy pets for my masters. No, thank you. I knew I hate this guy for a reason. Throw him a bundle of dynamite. Why? I'm curious. Oh, here, try sending your boss this. You pitch a bundle of dynamite at the guy who shoots it reflectively. Reflexively. When the dust and smoke clears, all that's left is a gun a crater, and a hat drifting down to the ground. I got a smoking gun! Neat. That sounds like fun. I want to- wait, wait, wait. I want to see that. Sets enemies on fire. That 
sounds like fun. Uh, 13 to 17. Oh, it's about the same as my Red Hot Pistol, except... Oh, it's plus four speed, though. Mm. I kind of like the idea of setting stuff on fire with gun. Cool. Okay, so... Shrimp Cave. Where the hell? I, I, I guess... My guess is that I am supposed to drink the potion, but if I drink the potion... Can I drink it today? Because I've already kind of filled myself up on everything. You can't use that item because your spleen is full. Level up your gumption to increase the size of your spleen. Ah. Fire good. Fire make everything go boom, burn to the ground. Ah, God. I'm kind of sad because I... Well, actually, here. Oh, hello. What's this? Got some locks, I got some ranch dressing, and I got a rancher's pistol. All right, sweet. Free stuff. Fight fire with fire. Fire solves everything. Burn! Okay, so... The combination was... Milk... Oh, it's a giant vat filled with lemonade. The faucet is clogged shut. Damn it! That means I can't make fudge anymore! Fudge out of milk and lemonade? I don't know how. Don't ask. Ah, oh, well. So I suppose that means if I have to... Thing is, if I want to drink that potion, it means I gotta go and sleep it off. Crap, Ola. Oh well. There are worse fates. Oh, your booze sense alerts you to the presence of a rock. Confused, you move the rock, and sure enough, there's a bottle of booze behind it. It's cheap wine. Phew! You were afraid for a second that your booze sense had been replaced with some kind of rock sense. I can now detect Earth. Guess I'll sleep. Go to sleep. You dream that you're climbing a mountain with a duck on a circus carousel. For some reason, strange music plays. You wake up screaming. <laughs> Alright, day five. Now... Here. Where was that located again? Da -da 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 I don't have a clue. I think I separated this. Oh, this is by new stuff. Where is that drink? Hold on a second. Where did it's in consumables, right? There we go. Dirty hippica extract fully opens your third eye. You swallow the extract, the world turns inside out as your mind replaces itself. You gain an effect. Uh Bacharach Galactrius. Oh dear. I hope everything looks weird now. But yeah, now I've basically wasted all that stuff that I just ate. Crap. I'll refill when necessary. Glurk. Saddle up, buddy. Right, now let's go to the shroom. What the hell am I going to find in the shroom cave now that I'm high? <laughs> This game is strange, right? Okay. Oh, hello. Yeah. Secret cavern. What is this? <laughs> Dear God. Oh, and there's the munchies. It's Roy Beans Beans! In an alternate dimension. Your great-grandkids are going to love this kind of music. I guess this one's a bit too much for you, but your kids are gonna love it. What a strange lamp. I got a strange lamp. Comfy looking sofa. Weird. Well. So now we know those hippies might actually know a little bit more about the world than we know, you know, we originally thought. Of course, yeah, I don't, I have no idea how this has expanded my mind though. 
So yeah, I could find doors that were previously hidden. What else? Let's go hand over the uh, beans. Oh, hello, robot fight. Whoa, these jerks are quick. Right. That's fine. And... Uh-oh. Ah, he's a little tough. Shit. Shoot it! Ah, balls. Okay. Um... One damage to that target. Son of a bitch. Okay, what else could I possibly do here? That won't do anything. 12 damage. This does 15 to 17. Dang it, I don't really have anything that's actually effective for robots. Uh, I could try and scum the ever-loving hell out of him with dynamite. Don't really need to beat him, but... My pride. Also, I can just buy dynamite now. Cool. Hey, Roy, I got some beans for you. Well, I'll be jiggered. I didn't figure on seeing any of them jelly beans again. And here you brought back all three jars. I ain't got much to reward you with other than a handshake, Heathcliff, but maybe I'll be able to pay you back somehow in the future. Man, don't sweat it, Roy. Roy, I was happy to help. Cool, Leo. So, yes, and now you can retire in peace. So long, old man. I hope it does come back, and he's gonna find out a recipe for, like, caffeine beans or something. Then I won't need to worry about energy ever again. Anyway, um, right, so while I remember, I'm, I'm kind of getting to the end of the stream here, so before I'm done, I want to go back to Ghostwood. Heathcliff? <laughs> okay, are we talking about the same Heathcliff? Because the one I'm thinking about is the cat. And... I never watched Heathcliff, but I like the name. Curious co cops. What? Cops? Eh? Yeah. Your transponder beeps, indicating an ordinary-looking cops of trees just over the next ridge. Check. Ah, I see. Hmm. Slowly and quietly. A little game of hot and cold. Your L vibrato oh, transponder starts beeping at medium tempo. What is this? It's a shockweed plant. Electric plants? Oh, hi. This thing looks pretty tough and pretty attentive. Nah, I'm out. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I'll be back later. I want to go to Ghostwood. Hold it right there! A bandit steps out from the bushes at the side of the road. He's pretty ragged, but also extremely burly, like a scarecrow stuffed with footballs. <laughs> he has a pistol that could be described as a head... Wait, a hand cannon, without getting metaphorical. Give me a dough! Uh, or else... Hmm. Screw you. Got the jump on this time. Right. I'm going to see if I can beat this guy. Got 74 HP. I think it's possible. Bam! Shoot him down. Not a very competent thief, are you? <laughs> Heathcliff from Sword Art Online. Oh! Yeah, no, I never played Sword Art Online. I don't know. I just chose it because I remember the name Heathcliff from the, you know, from the cat. I just remember there was this really weird rivalry, like Garfield was the main cat of cartoons and then Heathcliff showed up and it's like added it. No one cared about Heathcliff because what the hell ever. Uh, maybe I'm being sh uh, maybe I'm being harsh just because I was on the side of Garfield. Oh, not play watch was an anime. Right, yeah. Isn't that that anime where everyone was in that MMO sort of online and then for whatever reason when it was supposed to end, it didn't end. I, th I think I remember that one. A friend of mine was talking to me about it. It's an interesting story. Anyway, so I got his intimidating six gun. It's not very intimidating. I killed him. Speaking of which, how tough is it? 
Not very. But it does add five muscles, so. Heathcliff fucked them all up, basically. Yeah. Right, so we're back to this place. You might expect to be able to just walk. Uh, yeah, there. Knock, knock. Well, howdy. What can I do for you, Mr. McCoy? I need a drink. No problem. Beer, whiskey. Uh, I asked for whiskey, and it's been two days. So is it back? Sure did, and I think you'll be glad to hear that I saved that whiskey requisition form you already failed out. You're a saint. No problem. You want a shot or a whole bottle? The whole damn bottle. You got it. That'll be 1,000 me- Oh my god. Well, good thing I have a lot of meat. There you go. Don't drink it all in one place. You got an item. Bottle of ghost whiskey. Sweet. Can I get a beer, too? I think I used up that beer. All right, just gotta take your name down for the requisition slip. Last name... McCoy. Heathcliff. Um, I think Danger was my middle name. <laughs> Let me match that up against your visitor ID. Heathcliff, Danger, McCoy. Yeah, that's fine. It'll be 103 meat. Cool. Great, now I have new drinks. Got to look at that. What does a bottle of ghost whiskey do for me? This is a ghost bottle filled with ghost whiskey, which is too insubstantial for you to get a proper grip on and actually open it. Looks like you aren't getting ghost wasted tonight. What? Are you kidding me? I wasted, like, I waited for two in-game days to get a bottle of whiskey that I, and, and I spent 1,000 meat for one that I can't, oh. I hate this mission. I officially hate this mission. And with that, I think I'm done with this town and I'm done with the stream tonight because I got some more stuff I need to do. Good God. No, the last stream, I was here. I literally ran through town just being like, and everybody is so paperwork like a savvy. It's like, no, you need a form for that. What? Okay, I'll fill out a form. You need a number three pencil. Why a number three pencil? finally get through all that and I get all right I'm gonna stop complaining I did anyway yeah I'm gonna save my voice a little bit because it is still ever so slightly kind of ragged from Saturday's stream where I streamed for five hours doing ace attorney it's not horrifying but it's still a little bit ragged oh so, hey thanks everybody for popping out in the stream just to say hi give some advice getting me pudding thank you uh, if you want to take a look at this stream after it's done, I'm going to be uploading the VOD to the YouTube channel afterwards. And my stream schedule, Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday, all starting around 7 o'clock. I ended up not streaming on Sunday. Again, I'm sorry about that. But um, I guess if you are really interested in knowing when I have to, like, delay a stream or if I have to, like, cancel it for whatever reason, I post this stuff on, on the Twitter Maybe follow that. I don't know. It, I, I don't know. I don't boss you around. I'm not your dad. <sighs> now, some other stuff. Uh, yes, next Saturday, I'm going to be playing Ace Attorney Investigations, Prosecutor's Path, which is the fan translation of the game that did not come out in the States and only what it was Japan exclusive. And I'm excited about that, because I'm, I'm interested to see just what, what is included in that. You know, what, what didn't we get to see? And also, I wonder if they're ever going to release in the States somehow. Like, we're in the realm of digital download. Best opportunity possible. Also, I wonder if they're ever going to HD remake them. Probably not, unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, there's that. Um, I've been thinking about doing Hat in Time mods again sometime soon. I just don't know when. I've been playing this as well. I need to get back on Breath of the Wild because I'm getting real close to finally having all of the upgraded equipment and I really want that motorcycle. I am psyched. I... Oh yeah, in Stardew Valley. There's another one. Which, oh, I should mention, um, next... Uh, next Sunday, I actually, turns out, I can't do it, because, turns out, uh, Tech Whipley, he can't actually join. Whoops. Turns out, like, we set it up to play bi-weekly, and, um, 
I, he, he completely and totally forgot that he has plans for the entirety of this weekend. Oopsies. Japan also hates Americans, and they keep the good stuff for themselves. You know, I've looked into it. I don't think it's that they hate Americans. Uh, it's that they hate gaijins, that kind of concept. Like, the, the people who go over there and they expect to be like, Oh, look, I'm Japanese. I'm using Japanese words, and I, I'm just like you. That's what they don't like. But I think that's... Um, that's just kind of like a, a cover thing for the most part. Apparently, I'll, I, as long as you're not like overbearing as all hell, people tend to be pretty nice down there. I've heard of a lot of cases of people going down for vacations and stuff, and as long as you're not a jerk to people, people won't be a jerk right back to you. So, I'm perfectly cool like uh, with Japan. I, Funny enough, I've heard of at least four different stories about um, a few people that I've watched that go over to Japan to go check it out, and it's cool. You just watch my anime and games. Well, therein lies the problem. <laughs> they're not just anime and games. And that's why they're so angry. It's like, stop treating us as anime and games. Although I will say, the corner of Japan that is a whole bunch of the anime and games, it's an entire other world. It is creepy stuff. Not, like, not ridiculously creepy, it's just weird. Anime and games is life. <laughs> anime games is love. Anime games is life. Eh. Mm. Anyway, yes, I am going to wrap this up. Wait, it looks like, um... Uh, we did have a few drop frames. I don't know what the heck... I don't know why we're dropping frames all of a sudden. I just had a lot of cases of that recently. Anyway, I'll try and fix that sometime later. So, again, thanks for coming out. See you next time. Good night. Oh, yes, and of course, I... I can't click out of the window or else the music stops. I wish that wasn't the case. Anyways, see you later.